Hi, welcome to the second part in my face poster tutorial series. For the first part, click this link here. In this part, you learn how to properly set up face poster so you can use phoneme extraction with it, which is automatic uh, lip syncing in face poster. Now, if you're on Windows XP, this will be really simple to set up, but if you're on Vista or Windows 7, then you'll need to do some uh, more advanced stuff. So if you have XP, just continue watching. If you have Vista or Windows 7, you can click this link here and uh, you'll go directly to the part of the video where uh, you learn how to set up your stuff. Okay, so you're on Windows XP. This will be really easy for you. All you need to do is download and install MS Sapphi 5.1. To do that, you simply go to the Microsoft website. I will provide a link to this website here so you can download it. Just click this link here and you get to the bottom where you can download speech SDK 5.1.exe at 68 megabytes. So, download this file. It's been downloaded, you just click it to open it up, of course. Uh, unzip it to wherever you want. You're unzipping the installer files here. And uh, then you open up the folder where you unzip them. And run setup.exe, or I think that MSI file will work as well. And now I'm not going to run this because if I do, I won't be able to do phoneme extraction on my computer. Um, and uh, that's all you need to do after you install that, it will work. So after you've done that, you can just click this link here to go to the next tutorial. Now I'll do the part for Windows 7 and Windows Vista users. If you're on Windows 7 or Vista, you cannot have installed MS Sapphi 5.1 before because that will mess up your phoneme extractions and uh, I don't think there's a way right now to reverse that other than just reinstalling Windows. And now with that out of the way, what you need to do is download a custom DLL file that makes the new version of MS Sapphi work with Face Poser. And uh, the dude who made this is called Varsity on ModDB, and I will provide a link to this page here where you can download it. So just click the big red download now button. So open up the zip file and uh, what you need to do is extract these two files to, um, as he says here in the instructions, to the bin slash phoneme extractors folder of the SDK or game you're working with. And uh, you will be overwriting an ex existing DLL. So it's actually quite simple. I will be showing you how to do this for episode 2 because that's what I'm using. I'm just, so I'm just going to go to my Steam folder. Games. Steam. Steam apps. My username. Source SDK bin and since I'm using episode 2 that is using the orange box engine I'm gonna go to the orange box folder and then bin again and then phoneme extractors and then I'm going to copy over these three files actually just need these two files to uh, this folder so I'm gonna start source SDK now and what I wanted to look at is the file size here see it's 159 kilobytes right now now I'm launching source SDK and it immediately jumped down to 158 kilobytes. This means that um, when we start source SDK, it will automatically uh, overwrite our new file with the old uh, normal uh, DLL file here. And uh, we don't want that, obviously, because we want to use our new DLL file. So what you can do to work around this is quite simply, after you've started the source SDK every time, you copy over the phoneme extractor DLL again and replace. And uh, now we can start up Face Poser and um, use it. Or if you're cool and stuff, you can uh, download a um, program or a actually a widget that uh, Varsity has made as well, uh, which allows you to start Face Poser ha or Hammer and I think Malviewer as well without starting Source SDK at all. And uh, so it'll, it, it'll be much easier and not having to copy over the file every time. There's a link to where you can download this file in uh, the um, phoneme extractor page here, down there. 
I will provide a direct link to this page uh, and you download it by clicking that button there. So after you've downloaded it, you just click it and then you click install. And I already have this installed, but whatever. I'm going to replace it. So it'll pop up in your top right corner. First, before you can use it, you need to configure it. But you can see you have Hammer, Face Buster, and Mod Viewer there. So just click the wrench there, and the configuration panel will pop up. First, you want to define a name. That can be whatever, it's just for reference. Since I'm using Episode 2, I'm going to call this one Ep2. And then you select the branch. I'm using uh, 2009 Orange Box. Of course, you can select whichever one applies to you. And then you need to get the path. And uh, the path is to where the game info.txt file is located. So go to your Steam folder and then Steam Apps. And for episode 2, it will it would be in your username. And then episode 2 and ep2. And there you see you have the game info.txt. So just copy that path there. And then you paste it and click OK. So now we can just click Face Buster here and it will start it up. And as we did that, you should notice that it did not replace this file. It's 159 kilobytes still. And uh, there you have it. That's all you need to know. In the next tutorial, you will learn how to actually do some lip syncing and that kind of cool stuff. Click this link here to get to that tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a great day!